Hello and welcome, I'm Sonic Guru and welcome back to Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 Shadow Story. We'll just beat Kingdom Valley, which is probably the most bullshit levels. Not badly designed, but doesn't give you much chance to get used the to the vehicles. King of Soliana used to reside in this castle, but a major accident occurred ten years ago, and no one's lived there since. Accident? I heard a prototype energy engine failed, which caused the accident. I think the name of the plan was... The Solaris Project. I'm surprised Rouge even knows anything about the Solaris Project. I think she does come in and find an item and Shadow coming in tractor. Come in, tractor. Their eternal sun god. Doctor? It's been a while, my dear Rouge. And of course, Shadow. Now, <laughs> Shadow's on the side. I was like, yeah, Shadow's there. But Rouge, though, how oh, nice to see you. I'm surprised he even caught up to him. Then again, he probably has an energy signature on the scepter. Ah. A flash to white, really? You can't show... Rouge getting punched. Like, this is like, it is... It never seemed to smash either. Why didn't it smash? Why did it need to touch the floor? Shadow. It's no use. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Ah, uh, he said the line. He said the line, everyone. We can go go home now. Okay, the thing is though, the shadow's pointing the other way. And we found Recolor the Hedgehog. What? His shadow. <laughs> oh, how ironic fate can be. I would never have believed I would be resurrected through your shade. I thank you, Shadow the Hedgehog. That this is the best use of time travel in the entire game in terms of narrative. And how do you know my name? Any other time travel is just a crutch. Like, oh, how are we going to do this? Like, you travel back in time, and it's just it's apparently just there for a reason. Oh, Mephilus. Mephilus the Dark. Yeah, stop looking at your shoot feet like a teenager. Because, it, like, later in the game, you find out a lot of things about Mephilus, about who he is. What you gave to me, I now return to you. A one-way ticket. A lot of people, I don't know why a lot of people call him, like, oh, he's a shadow reed color. So, like, it explains right in the story that the reason why Mephilus looks like Shadow is because he took the form of Shadow. That's how you say it's ironic. I don't know why. I don't know why people just get on that case. It explained why he looks like Shadow, not just to be a re. I know it's kind of lazy, but at the same time, it's deliberate. It makes sense. So I don't. If it is lazy, it's lazy. But then again, they could just do the exact same thing and just make oh, it's like split in two and he's so like split into three. Is it and there's a red, a, a yellow, and a blue shat, a blue Sonic. I mean, that would be fucking lazy. Mephilus. Who is he? That was such an anime trope. Just fade to... Just fade to black. Just go to, like, a... Change the, co the saturation all the way down. Like, I'm just like, this is the thinking part. still in the doctor's base but how can that be wait there's no doubt now so it's not where we are god the delivery is so bad 
and the dialogue is so bad. And why are there other eyes just? It appears we've gone through time. Why are eyes shining through that screen? Yes, approximately two hundred years. And I maybe more, depending on when this database was last updated. And that's why a lot of people seem to well, latch on to. It's like, oh, right. Silver could very well be Shadow's son and everything. Because like approximately 200 years, like maybe more, or maybe more, and even then, that doesn't that still doesn't make sense for like like Amy to be the mother or even Rouge to be the mother. Ancestors, sure, but parent figures, nah. Good. Now, there's been a few theories. I don't my theory basically just involving. All the other theories people have, and there's actual debate theories by Gamer Guy and Scourge, which you definitely should check out. That is a, that is a good theory. So Where are we? Another thing is, I just, just realised something. They say they're still in Eggman's base, but they weren't in Eggman's base when they they were in Kingdom Valley. How did they get to Eggman's base? How did they say they were still in Eggman's base? It went based in the Yamata Acropolis, but now it's near new near New City. So the new New Soliana. It's just called New City. It's otherwise like new what they call it New Soliana City. This is the distant future, far removed from our own timeline. The future? Then that's and the time, I think I guess. Eggman's got some nerve dropping us here. Now, how can we get back to our own time? You need a space-time rift, but this requires a lot of energy. Yeah. I see. You mean using your chaos control will... Yes, but that alone is insufficient. Okay, Shadow. It looks like we need to work together. Like I come to conclusion like to say, oh, it would be a space time really requires a lot of energy, and probably probably in the Sonic playthrough, but it's like okay, we use all the energy and just get a Chaos Emerald. Like, first of all, how do you know the Chaos Emeralds even fucking exist in the future? They could have been easily been destroyed since the Master Emerald can easily be shattered. Then again, it could be just shattered by the by the Guardians for all we know. And two. How do you come to conclude? Oh, way low. Oh, come on, a fucking ladder, really? Fly. Whoa, 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 yay, yeah, yay, yeah, hey. Wow. Okay, why the hell does that take off a lot? And it just poofs <laughs> into nothingness. It just the the buggy just poofs into nothing. Into it just it just imploded into itself. Now it's magical. Again, it's like bring it up what I said before. It's like how did it come to the conclusion that oh yeah, the chaos almost still exist in this future. Probably they'll still exist in the future. Let's just say they're indestructible. How did I'm guessing they? Use Shadow's ability to detect where Chaos Emerald is. I guess. I'm not too sure. Probably missed something then, but I don't care. And down. Who designed this city? I mean, seriously. Probably no. This city could actually be Empire City. You never know. There's no, 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 nothing denying that. But Osoliano will be somewhere. I guess in in Europe. That will that will be near uh, Spadonia. 
Empire City is on the other side of the world, it's pretty much New York. I don't know. Trying to map out the entirety of Sonic's world is a, is a pain in the ass. Because you're going to include everything. Surprise, I actually got that. There we go. I mean, I tried working out for myself the whole map of Mobius, if you can call it. I don't, I don't know why it's like. He said. Yuji Naka said the Mobius strips and all, but. Using that as like the grounds to call it a planet that. But again, it makes sense, considering a lot of this planet is. Oh, Ooh, what the fuck are that here? In the some parts of a planet, you just can't map out. Like you're trying to find. Uh, met, I think it's me Metal City or Megalo. No, what the? No! What? I home attack onto that fucking bird, and it said "fuck you." What? What did I hit? You saw it then. I I home attack onto something, but nothing happened. You can't do that game. You just can't. And again, this is Sonic 06 where some parts of it are just. don't bother asking questions, really. It just happens. You have to deal with it. It is a broken game. It is a broken, unfinished mess of a game. But yet, it's still mostly playable. That's really it. That's really it. Look, look, look. Up this game. It's just some parts you have to accept. You can't debate it. And I'm and some parts of it I do enjoy. Yeah, it's bad. I know this game bad. It's bad. But there's so much that just annoys me. It just builds up to a point where I'm just spouting negativity of this game. They, there are it. The, the level design, odd. Some parts of the level design is, quite frankly, odd. It doesn't work. But you, pre you press on in hopes that there is some enjoyment, and yeah, there is. How the hell is I meant to... Those two platforms just clicked right together and I couldn't get through it. Like, if, you, if, if, all, if, if the level design and the gameplay all goes well... Oh, I have a boost! Yay, thank you game for telling me that. There is a boost button. I could have read a manual, yes, but it's on my shelf and that's tightly packed and getting the game back in that order is a pain in the ass. I guess I could have read the manual, sure. But most people now, considering they don't have manuals in the game case anymore, you have a little slip which is just warranty information and maybe an advertisement to the season pass. Well, this is new, this is Silver's area. And I fall. Why not? Oh, so that's how I get it. Okay. Look! 
Let me hung attack onto the damn thing. Jeez. Damn. Apparently the game's fault because of the shit camera and uh, mostly mine. So, yeah. That's a good fail all around. At least, it, at least you can move, maneuver around the home attack. So at least it's a bat. But at the same time, it's just... I couldn't move! I'm losing all my lives. Yeah, sure, yeah, thank you. I don't know why I'm bothering. Like, I don't know why I bother trying to get the silver medal. I think it's just like, it's a collectible. It's there. So I might as well try and grab it. Do not hit me. It's kind of, kind of second nature. Like, for the Sonic game, you need to use a home attack. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> no, you're not dragging me down that far. And why the hell? Oh, so this is the direction I need to go. There we go. This level is... These levels just drag on and on and on. I mean, some of the level design is good. Some of the level design is warranted for these... And these levels are big. So it does show off, like... This is next gen Sonic. This is what is it is what's gonna happen for future Sonic games, which it does. Shao Gun. If only. If only Takeshi Izuka right now can actually make a damn Chow Gun and, and not tease everyone saying, Do you want it? Yes? Well well I'll start I'll start making it. Ah, you, I wasn't even paying attention. Because that's so fair. How big is this fire? Have the rail be red, but have the entire level be red as well. I'm sorry for complaining. I there are there are some times in this game I do enjoy playing. I'm like yeah, I should be really thick in the head to enjoy a game this monumentally broken and just unfinished. But I do. I really do enjoy playing Sonic games, despite how bad they are. Because I can find good. I can find positives in the game in these games. But when bullshit happens. It just, it's hard to ignore. You understand? Am I making sense? Open it, open it, making sense. I don't want to sound very really preachy about it. There we go. Yes. Well, it took me like three lives. You always get 30,000 time bonus. I don't know why. Anyway, I, I'm, try, I'm genuinely trying to do more positive and enthusiasm about playing this because it's been a long time since I played through the entire stories of this. But at the same time, it's like 
constant little niggles. It's like someone tapping you on your shoulder. So on your shoulder. For a while, it's fine, but to a point, it just gets really annoying. You hear the tap or tap on the table. You hear it. It keeps going and going to a point you just snap. But anyway, I'm Sonic Guru, and I'll see you next time.